and press buttons as well as I could. Just talking more along the lines of reading tooltips and uh, I mean, such. I would have read tooltips to put them on my hotbar because I would put them where they made sense based on other things that I do. Really? Oh no, he's going. He's nope. Oh god. Seriously. What? What just happened here? God damn it. This is terrible. Oh, now he's going. I provoked him. Let's go. <laughs> I missed that you said that. Total no baby pools. Oh, did I miss more of what you said? Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. did you, like, not see the line above it? No, it scrolled up too quickly. It was, like, almost off the oh. screen, off my little chat log by the time I uh, saw it. On your chat log, it's like other people talking or just other stuff. No, my main one has oh, a lot of battle stuff too. Really? That's weird. Yeah. No, my default one actually has a lot of information on, and then I have my other ones if like I need to filter out to see what was said. So when I wanted to see what I missed, I went and filtered to my party only or my chat only one. No, but I have a ding when people say stuff in party chat. I just, like, didn't hear a ding when you said that. That's why I missed it. Yeah, but I would think, like, all your battle stuff would just be on one thing, and then, like, everything else on, like, your main one, and then, like... I don't have all battle stuff. Out. I have, like, heals, so I can see, like, who my heals hit, and, uh... And I have when I'm taking damage, which doesn't happen very often, because I'm not a tank. Actually, ever use it? What do you mean? I mean, I use it when I die, and I'm curious as to what killed me, <laughs> and it tells me how much damage I took. It also helps when I'm like, "Why was I dying? Did I stand in a bad?" Or, and then <sighs> I'm like, "Nope, it bother? was stack me." Why'd you bother what asking me? Going monk? No, uh, no, going monk. Oh you have to deal God, with I this terrible tank. Tanks. I really can't. All right, I just had like a little moment where it's just like, it, it all just like boiled up inside of me and I was just like, <laughs> oh my god, stop turning. Oh god, I'm <laughs> lagging. Oh, so not you're not even complaining about it's pulling, because it's just like tanking terribly? No, it's just, you just like kept randomly turning. I was I don't understand tanks. They're bad. Well, unless you played like other classes, it's hard to know what you should do as tank. And then unless you have the experience to do it well, you still don't do it properly. Eh, it doesn't take much experience to stand still. Mm, it does when you have to dodge things as well. Yeah, my, um, my battle log only has, like, debuffs. That's, like, the only stuff I really care to see. Like, whenever we get a bunch of debuffs, I like to go back and read them. If you scroll through them on the chat, it actually, like, displays what they do. It's pretty convenient. Oh, yeah, they added that in at one point. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I have those on here, too. Although my AoE heals just kind of spam my log. Especially because they give confession stacks now too. It's not just the heals, but it's like you gained a, this person gained a stack of confession. Blah 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 blah. blah.
was actually really helpful when I first started and I had terrible macros and they were failing on me and I was like trying to spam heals on the tank and it was just healing me and I was like, I, I didn't realize what was happening, but my log told me what was happening. So that was useful. <laughs> Cause I was, I was trying to do most over macros, but I had like failovers. So it was like, use most over if I have most over, if it doesn't have most over, use my focus target. If I don't have a focus target or use my, so I think it was use my target first, then use most over, then use focus target, then uh, target myself. And it was just like always failing to me for stupid reasons. So now I don't do that anymore. Oh God, I stood in the laser. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hello. Oh, you know, <laughs> I'm so disorganized. I knew I was going to be longer than five minutes. So I started my stream a little bit early. So I know that I was late on the timer, but I am here at nine. So I'm good on time. But I just forgot I didn't start a Final Fantasy. Arthas, what are you meowing about? What do you want? I fed you. Hey, Alexi Cato, welcome. How's it going? You laughing at my uh, my intro, or are you laughing at the fact that I was late? <laughs> Which should not be surprising. I feel like I need to fix my my timer because I have it set up in a way right now that's not so very dynamic. So I can't change it if I need a different amount of time. Um, so I need to I need to come up with something better for that. All right. Oh, I tried to change my... Ew, what happened here? I tried to change my lighting and this is terrible. Why is it so washed out? Uh, which is this going to be? Not that one. I bet it's... That one won't even move. No. Nope. What did I screw up here? I'm really bad at lighting. Just, uh, just a heads up. Why is it so washed out? And now I'm super blurry. Hello, camera. There we go. Um, hmm. <laughs> Terrible at this. Maybe I'm just crazy and it looks fine. I feel like this is a contrast issue. No, that doesn't really help. Hmm. Oh. Let's go with that, maybe? You just reported someone? What happened? All right, now I'm a little bit red, but. I don't look quite so washed out, at least. Let's put that over there. Alright, let's actually load into this game. Start! What did they do, Asuna? Alright, we're going to play some Haley tonight. I think I might not change her glamour and hair today. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, I was doing Moogle quests. All right, one second. I don't think Clay's gonna wanna do anything because he's getting ready for raid. Oh, all right. Oh, Stinian's chilling out here. Hi, Stinian. I've taken her happy. <laughs> I like Ari's happy better. You show a city in your uncontainable containable jubilation. I do believe I'm in the middle of doing Moogle um, trials. So apparently I'm going this way maybe?
set on Discord? Oh, is it private? Oh, no, it's a novel. Um... Which should I be looking at? The purple text? Hey, Clay, I sent you a message. Are you paying attention? I'm guessing the answer is no. You had a white mage in a dungeon who is pissing their MP away, bitching at you to use fresh, not healing me, so my mate who is tank shirt her and let her tank. No surprise, she's fucking fucking mentor who said in FC chat. Uh who said mentor is just for show. Wow. Um Oh, hi. Hi, Clay. <laughs> you do? I thought you'd be too busy. Actually, no. Actually, no. You're so going to say no. I was expecting a no. You shouldn't, but you'll do it. Okay. All right. I hope this means this word, too. It should. Alright. It'll be nice and fast. Maybe. <laughs> Where do I go? Are you ready? <clears throat> yeah, I'm ready. Alright. One of your party members ready. does not meet your requirements for this duty. What? What are you on? Oh, Whoa, you... Is my sound messed up? Or is that you? You're like super choppy. Maybe me. Choppy? Yeah, you are. Did I queue us? No, I didn't. Is it not letting me queue? One of your party members does not meet the requirement. What? <laughs> what are you? Uh, why would it meet the requirements for a level? You, because you can't be a healer. That's why I'm on Haley. Oh. All I have is white mage. <laughs> That's what the problem is. Right, I'll just, I'll just go in ninja. But aren't you 70 on Ninja? Why don't you yeah, tank? Yeah, no, I don't care. Why don't you tank? Tank? Clay? Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Can I, I couldn't hear, hear anything. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Alright, yeah, I'll just go on. Whatever. What are you on? <laughs> Uh Oh, I don't know if the um Oh, my pet hopper hidden. She wants to be a cock. Oh, this will be nice and fast. <laughs> well then. This is like hitting the hitting the leveling roulette jackpot. You should have come on tank. Except then we probably wouldn't have got out of this. You do No, you're you're probably not gonna get a, a response from reports, regardless of if they do anything or not. Like, it's not their business. It's not. It's not really. You make the report, but it's not any of your business what they do. So you probably won't get a response. Taking up on the cutscene. You game are still cutting out. Why are you broken? Is it? It's it's not just me, right, guys? You guys hear him being choppy? And the rest of my audio is fine, right? I could rest try restarting my end. Is that a yeah? Uh, There's two more letters in that word, Asuna. Or you can just put one more. Y A H. Is it? Did you fix it? Holy crap! Yeah. I have no sound in game now, but. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can hear <laughs> yeah, you now. I, I needed to get it fixed because it was really like it, all the sound was like really messed up. In my end. You sound much better now. 
So did I hear that you're getting your first weapon? The first weapon in your group? Well, how did you hear that? <laughs> you were streaming it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I didn't mention that. <laughs> it's supposed to be, but um, you're cutting out again a little bit. I really wish I knew. Like it's maybe in my maybe it's actually I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm. S How long is this goddamn cutscene? I think I'm on ninja now. So. I don't think it was that long. Are they gonna give you a ninja weapon? Why are you like? Are you permissed to turn a ninja or what? Much. Like Why? well, not not real well. I mean, I'll still play Monk, get good parses on it, but yeah, I want to raid on Ninja. Hmm. It's better. Yay, cleaved. Oh, well, this tank doesn't know what he's doing. All right, let me go walk over here. Your group almost got it, like, your last clear, too. That was really uh, late in your, your raid. I'm sad I wasn't paying attention, but I was texting that guy about <laughs> raid group. <laughs> and then I look, I hear you guys cheering, and I look over, and I saw the, uh, the achievement pop. <laughs> it looked really weird seeing, like, not only... Oh, hold on. Ah, eruption. Wow, I can't believe we only just got the nail. <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna say, uh, was it really weird watching, uh, like, watching a POV from, like, a melee and, uh, controller player? Uh, a little bit. I mean, it's not like I've not watched other people play before, though, so. Uh -huh. You are quite fast, though, at snapping back to the boss when you get knocked back. The, the problem was yesterday, I don't know what was up, but like I was actually failing at that a lot. Well, when I was watching, you were doing a good job, so. I only like, was I don't know. actively watching for a little bit, though. Yeah. I think it like it got better towards the end of the night, but yeah. I'm stuck to it. Like, what's the thing? You're still cutting out a little bit. I don't know. Fuck. This tank is awful. Easy peasy. I'm in the Lancer. I'm really glad we got Ifrit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it a lot more. You are cutting out so badly. Go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix yeah, go hop off and fix your stuff and go raid. All right, quest in time. Let me drop party. How do I? Is there a shortcut for party? Oops. It must be. Wait. Oh, why is it? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, he's offline. Leave. All right. Hmm. Let me. See. Do I have room? Oh, actually, that is what I need. Macros. Is it like what hot bar display pet? Maybe? Which, speaking of which, I want to copy paste. Copy paste. Alright. Now we can actually. Let's not delete those just yet. Um, but now, no. How does one toggle the pet hopper? What is it actually called? Uh, hot bars, pet hot bar. 
How do you... Uh, let's try this. There we go. Uh, what does it say? Bunch of stuff. Target bar. Hot bars. Can I not toggle that one then? It says hot bars 1 to 10. Hmm. 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 That sucks. I don't think you can turn it off. Let me Google this real quick. Real quick, maybe I'll learn something. You wanna try? I can get back on if you wanna test. I'm back on. Uh, FFXIV, top macro, off, pet, hot bar. Hot bard. Hello. Hello, that, sound that, that sounds better now. How to hide pet, okay, cool. whore bar. <laughs> Somebody saw this whore bar. Uh, I wonder if it was something to do with Final Fantasy. Are you all fixed up now? I think so. You can remove I'm it. I don't want Fantasy. to remove it. I want a macro. Hmm. What is this? A lot of people are answering not this question. Yeah, that's weird too. Yeah. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. All right. Um, so randomly today I was typing Maelstrom and I thought in my head Maelstrom and my fingers typed Maelstrom and I was really upset about that. <laughs> I think that's stupid. I don't know why I typed it. Where'd you type that at? I was typing it on Reddit. Where else? You know what? Else? I feel like holding. Yeah, in my raid group just said his sub just ended. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, man. You better resub. Here's hoping. You're a group. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, what to say about that. <laughs> you guys have the worst luck. Like that's not even luck. Like I don't I don't understand yeah. how people like can just like let their raid their sub run out if they're raiding. Oh I ran out of mana. Whoops. <clears throat> not bad. This stuff's not even dead yet. Fuck. Oh god. I feel like those are things that you should pay attention to. Oh man, I wasn't expecting there to be more. Probably shouldn't have tried to holy those down. I'm gonna be so terrible tonight. <laughs> Normally I'm optimistic, but... I wish I could watch, hour. but you literally raid exactly when I'm streaming. Are you gonna stream it at all tonight? Or was that like a one-time thing? <laughs> uh, I can stream again. <laughs> I can't watch, so I don't really care, but... Work out my streams anyway. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Record it, as well stream it, archive it. What I said, though, if you want, if you just start streaming for archival purposes, you should do it to YouTube. Well, I don't really care about it keeping it for a while, because, like, I never, like, reference things that happened you know, more than a month ago. Fair enough. Um, what is here? I'm supposed to be finding something. I don't see it. What am I looking for, guys? Seriously. What is this quest? Obtain a Moogle Masterpiece. Obtain Sprigs of Cloudbirth. 
Maybe it's on the hill. I, oh, I found an aether flow. Yeah, it might be on the hill. Found an aether flow. What did I call it? Called it an aether flow. Aether current. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god. You can get the ether flow. You might have to. I know. Very familiar with that. I know. Do you have any tips for how to learn to play scholar well quickly? <laughs> I think I need to learn how to play healer well first. You do. Yeah. All right. I was afraid I for a second you were telling me I needed to learn how to heal. Oh no no. I need Go to learn ahead. how to heal before I give proper tips. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I just. Ugh. Hey, it is up here. What do you know? Actually, I will say that you have to start thinking about damage differently. You have to think about what's coming instead of yeah, I know. How well, to heal after something. I happening. feel pretty good about um, like O4 because O4 like has very very predictable damage. Like as much as there's like healer checks, if it's not a healer check, it's like the stupidest easiest thing to heal. Where is this last one though? I don't know what I'm where it is. What else is yeah, in this scholar, circle? Scholar's a healer that benefits the most from planning. Yeah. That's my problem, though. Like, that's why I don't like playing Scholar, because I forget things. And so I like that White Mage can make it up quickly and easily. Seriously, where is this thing? Oh, hey, they have a reduced stream delay option. Um, yeah. Oh, it's been in beta for a while. It doesn't really help all that much. All right. Back to Malcolm. No, thank Genie. Don't want to bite you. Did I really do all of them? No, where's the masterpiece? Um, oh, it's like literally here, or I think it's actually up top. Somewhere. Somehow. Is there a way up? So maybe? Oh, is there any chance I can get this lookout point without being able to fly? Oh, I thought that you couldn't get lookout points unless you could fly. I guess there's some that you could. Done and done. All right, let's go up the other side. I'm surprised you even bothered going for it. For what? If I'm, if I'm like literally falling over, <laughs> why not? It's XP. It's a lot of XP, but it's XP. And if you gotta go over there, press a button. Oh my god, I had to jump twice. What what <laughs> is the world coming to? Jump twice for eighteen thousand XP. I'll do it. Although it's probably pretty trivial, actually. I don't have that bar. I can't check to see how much XP I need. Um let's see. Yeah, it's like 18,000 is like 1% maybe? So kind of wish work lookouts work like in guild works. Yeah. Guild Wars. Not guild works. Um, yeah, those were pretty nice in Guild Wars. I just didn't like Guild Wars as a game. Oh, I'm like not even in the right spot. Okay. Do you hear any more word on your raid member who has no sub? No. Not yet. Oh wait, let me check. Oh, yeah, he's resubbed. Oh, okay. PF is up. Well, 
Well, been, I... Hmm? It would've been very silly if he, uh, didn't resub. Yeah. Kind of like an unacceptable silly. <laughs> you never know with people, though. Endgame was too PvP. Endgame was only PvP, wasn't it? Uh, I can't jump down here? That sucks. Wasn't that, like, all Endgame was? Why can't I jump here? What I didn't like, I didn't like how everything was level synced. I thought that was dumb. I felt there was, n it frustrated me to no end that you could, wow, apparently that's a ramp because that guy just, wait, no, he's flying. Never mind. Wish I could fly. Can I jump here? Yay! Splat. Um, it frustrated me that you would do all this leveling and then you'd run through a low level zone and aggro everything because you were synced. That shit pissed me off <laughs> so much. Uh, yeah, no, I'm talking Guild Wars 2, too. Um, I didn't play Guild Wars 1. I, actually, I think I did, like, a tiny, tiny little bit. Um, PV was a shell to get you to PvP. Yeah. I also, because, like, you learned all your abilities. I Actually, somebody was complaining about this, though, when they were comparing other MMOs. Uh, recently, and somebody said that that was fixed a little bit, but I didn't like that you got all your abilities really soon, and it felt like it felt like leveling was so pointless because you got nothing. It didn't make you able to run through low-level areas without getting aggro. It didn't give you new abilities. All it did was allow you to wear better gear. And if you went into PvP, it didn't even matter because it scaled your level up anyways. Although you had shit gear, so that was kind of silly. Because they're like, yeah, you can be max level and do PvP, but you can't wear max level gears, so you're gonna suck. Um, nah, I didn't like zone sync. That that drove me nuts. Well, I just like you had to run through low level areas to get places, and I just wanted to not have to care about them. All right, I'm gonna be doing some. Uh, some dialogue stuff, Clay, so it's probably a good time if you want to head off to Alright. To raid. Later. Have fun. Good luck with ninjing. Thanks. I hope you clear everything and get good prices. Good prices won't come, but clear is probably <laughs> will. So. Alright. Later. Later. Alright. Quest quest time. Did you have any trouble finding Cloud's Breath? I do need it quite urgently, you know. You asked me for it yesterday. <laughs> oh, yes, these are perfect, Koopa. Now I have the main ingredient for my palm tonic. Speaking of which, how are you feeling, miss? Should you ever feel your palm losing its bounce, then I'm your Moogle. I don't have a palm to lose its bounce. Imagine, I always am like, imagine if the quests that told you that they were urgent and you had to do them in a certain amount of time actually, like, had time limits on them. Oh, what is this quest? What is this? Bathing Bully? What is that? What is this quest unlock? Oh, it's going to be an Aether Current. <laughs> Magret is in desperate need of a bath. Um, Arthas hates you guys, just so you know. He's sitting in front of chat, so I can't read it. Arthas, no, no, now he hates me. Arthas, yeah, you're gonna say hi? Hey. If you're gonna be in the way, at least, at least be in the way on stream. Arthas. You're in the way, kitten. You're in the way. <laughs> I think you couldn't wear it, though. I just remember being told that I was going to be shit if I wasn't max level in PvP, even though I, it made me max level. Arthas, can you get out of my way? Can you say hi? Stick your ear in the camera? Alright, I'm going to move you, Arthas. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bah. <laughs> If you would sit down and stay a while, we could cuddle. No. Not into that anymore. Have you ever bathed in the waters to the northeast? Of course not, because a gang of burly Hropkins have been attacking anyone who goes near them, Koopo. If you were kind enough to slay a few, that might scare them away, giving me time to dip in the waters. You saw a cute ear. Yep. That's all you get to see. You saw a cute ear that deserves a treat because it's so cute. Arthas, do you deserve a treat? Do you deserve a treat? 
Ah, oh, here, let's go this way this time. Here, let me, here, we'll do, this is awkward. Oh, we gotta go this way. So you guys can see little Arthur Poo. Arthas, come here. Come up here. There we go. You guys can't see me, but you can see Arthas. That's all right, right? That's all you care about right now. Hello to my little Poo Bruno. <laughs> Alright, this you're so spoiled. There, that's all I got for you. You get three. Three treats. That is all. And you're gone. Alright. <laughs> and back to Final Fantasy. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix up my my UI. My overlay stuff. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> you are able to humble my Dravanian devotees. Wonderful. You are as capable as I am captivating, Koopa. You came back to art this time. Why did you come back? Shouldn't you be reading? Still, my precious perfection does not excuse those louts from pursuing me so mercilessly. Their tongues lolling and their bellies rumbling. What is this guy talking about? The Dravanians and their ilk have much to learn about acceptable acts of admiration. Oh, yeah, I remember what happened here. Oh. What? Why is it literally everything except for a healer? Did I miss a healer one in the last one? Fuck, what? <laughs> What is going on here? <laughs> oh god. Do you have it, Koopa? Is my masterpiece safe? Yeah, I got it. Your rock. Yes, this is my work. Is it not exquisite? I call it Contemplations of Zenith. Thank you, madame. At last, I can exchange my art for those delectable coupon nuts. Chieftain Moglin will hear of this glorious deed. Give me a weapon. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't miss out on it. Oh, they have red mage. Red mage weapons in here now. You have completed the trials of trustworthiness. Return to Chieftain Moglin and await his judgment. Moglin's judgment. Chieftain Moglin is ready to pass judgment on your trial performance. Haley, if that is what you insist on calling yourself, you have completed the trials of trust trustworthiness administered by the Taskmasters Moghan, Mogmud, and Mogwin. During these grueling tests of character, I closely observed your conduct, as well as that of your companions. And I am decided, Koopo. Gather your friends before me now so that I need not repeat myself needlessly. Blah 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 blah. Are these trials over then? My tasks have been little more than household chores. If our host elect not to grant their aid after working us like pack chocobos, I shall demand compensation and coupon nuts out of principle. But I hope it will not come to that. Let us hear what the chieftain's verdict, shall we? Oh wow, there's they're everywhere. Oh what what douchebag things is this Dinian gonna say? How go your trials, warrior of light? I myself have been sent on a number of expeditions to chastise the local dragon population. Did not their chieftain wish to avoid inflaming the Dravanians? Such contradictions aside, our hosts seem entranced by the height of my leap. They compared me to Mog, a lance-wielding Mughal warrior of Eld, who also favored such attacks. T'was meant as a compliment, I expect, but I doubt these furry lumps could overleap a caracal lamb, much less a dragoon. Conclude your business here swiftly, Haley. I like not this place. You're no fun, Estinian. Not liking Moogles. What's wrong with you? Standing here in Moghom, my thoughts turn inevitably to the legend of good King Mogomog the Twelfth and his seat in the heavens. Like most, I thought it no more than a myth, a story for younglings that grew with the telling. But with each passing moment, I become more certain that we have discovered the origin of the tale. Fur full eager am I to hear what the chieftain has to say. <laughs> Just said fur instead of full. Goop, look up. 
We've become such friends, Kupo. My Mughal cousins love to sing and dance as much as I do. Chieftain Moglin has finally come to a decision, has he? Well, I suppose I'd better flutter over there and see him then. <sighs> Never happened. What sorcery is this? That my heart should stir at mere fluffiness? <laughs> Haley! I was... No matter. What is it? Chieftain Moglin made his decision. Well, let us not keep him waiting then. Never have I seen such determined workers, Kupo. It would have taken us moons to complete all those dreary chores and niggling errands. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. And have our labors proven the purity of our intentions, Chieftain? Without a doubt. In fact, if there, there was never really all that much doubt to begin with, you were, after all, already friends with the Mughal. But you see, before any meeting with Horace Velgar could take place, certain preparations needed to be made. And what better way to help you pass the time than by having you perform all those tiresome tasks that no one ever wants to do, Koopa? <laughs> Thanks, Moglin. Grr! <laughs> Grr! <laughs> oh, dear! The, the horn! Bring out the horn! Quickly now! <laughs> Oh, man. We blow this wondrous instrument whenever we wish to speak with the great worm, Koopo. We, uh, we perha haven't perhaps been treating it with the care it deserves of late. I think Mog may have sat on it. So we needed some time for cleaning and polishing and straining. <laughs> no lasting harm done, though. Now you need simply head to Zenith, the worm's dwelling to the west, and give the horn a good toot. We are in your debt, Chieftain. Thanks to your noble gift, we shall finally have a chance to plead our case to Horace Vulgar. Very possibly, yes. But I wouldn't get my hopes up too high, Koopo. The old worm isn't terribly fond of, um... Your concern is appreciated, but I am quite certain that Horace Vulgar will welcome our overtures. She's so, like, sure of herself here. <laughs> Horace Vulgar, like, <laughs> totally knocks her down a couple pegs. Should we ever arrive at his lair? Come, we have squandered enough time already. Is the Alanistinian. Chieftain Moglin, we thank you for your gracious hospitality. Though we must ta soon take our leave, I pray that we may continue to nurture the shoots of this new sprung friendship twixt earth and sky. Of course, of course, Koopo. Visit us whenever you wish. Consider Mog home your home amongst the clouds. Thanks for your help, Koopo. I doubt I would have ever found the time for all those rotten chores. Hey, hey it wasn't my idea. If the chieftain had spent a little less time sitting about and more time chieftaining, things would have never gotten so messy in the first place. And he was the one who sat on the horn, by the way. <laughs> but now all errands are done and the horn is fixed. So all's well that ends well, eh, Koopo? Sure. Leaving Moghome. Moghan is ready for you to lead you out of Moghome. I've already been out of Moghome. Well, uh, I expect you're eager to be on your way. Did I mention your friend was looking for you, Koopo? If not, Alphano is looking for you. I'll be waiting just outside, stretching my wings. Let me know when you're ready to depart. Uh-oh. Why am I so yawny? Oh, oh. What did I just try to execute? To the best of my knowledge, we have all that we need for our trip to Zenith, and I believe the Elder Seeds here and her retinue will soon be making the journey back to Gridania. 
It would be remiss of us, I think, not to convey our gratitude with them prior to going our separate ways, shall we? I shall, I shall. Alphanoak, Haley, I do humbly thank you for what has been a most enlightening experience. Were it not for your pioneering spirit, the existence of these Moogles might never have been revealed to us. Tis we who should be thankful, Elder Seedseer. Were it not for your timely diplomacy, we would never have cho they would never have chosen to reveal themselves at all. And twas your presence, Kuplo Kop, that ultimately won us their trust. It must have taken great courage to leave the sanctuary of the Twelveswood, and we are exceedingly glad that you did. It was my pleasure. I've made so many new friends and have so many fantastic tales to, sell, to tell my kinsmoogles back home. And it is to our home that we must now return. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal, my friends. Safe journey, Elder Seedseer. We too must be on our way. Horace awaits. Warrior of Light, pray, attend closely to your companion, Sir Astinian. Beneath that stoical facade, a storm of anguish seethes unseen. <laughs> I don't know if it's that unseen. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, not, he's not all that stoic. He's just kind of an asshole. Uh, which way am I going? I do believe up this way. Is this the right way? It is, it is. Have you said your goodbyes and dabbed away your tears, Koopa? Then we are indeed ready to go. The Road to Zenith. Ooh, I dinged 55. Mogan has volunteered to lead you to Zenith. As Chieftain Mo Moglin already explained, the shiny instrument we gave you is the best means of grabbing Horace Felgar's attention. I'll come along and show you the way to Zenith. That's the big place where you need to blow the horn. <laughs> first things first, though. We need to make for a saw... Oh, and watch out for rampaging dragons. Hmm, maybe that should have been the first thing, Koopo. I gotta do these, uh, these Aether Current quests before I depart too much, though. Road kill. Mogsy is gazing fearfully at the road to Asa. You aren't thinking of heading to Asa, are you? Best watch yourself if you are. Arceus are stalked the road looking for an easy meal. If only someone could drive them away, Koopo. Oh, you seem like the type for dragon hunting. Why don't you slay three of the Archaeosaurs and open the road back up for Moogle traffic? Once the deed is done, let Mogmot and Asa know. Oh, sweet. Alright, where's the one? Bathing. Okay, well we gotta do bathing fully. And then we gotta turn, because I think that we gotta turn that one back in here, and then we'll head off to the north. Oh, Sanchinis, no! Don't aggro me. Oop. Bah, I don't want to aggro them. Fuck. No, I didn't. Excellent. Oh, no, I did. Oh, that is pretty far that I have to go. Okay. Oh, there's a Sanchini right in front of my face. These things are what I'm killing. Hmm. I don't think I can get up here. I don't know how to get there. Probably around this way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I 
much after that. Damn it! <laughs> Try not to interrupt a spell, failing miserably at it. Alright, no point in putting up arrow again. How many of these do I have to kill? Three, as expected. So I'll kill this one, and I'll kill that one up there, and then we'll head back to town, turn it in, and then we will head to Asa, but on the way we will clear some dragons. Which is the plan. Should use focus target because then I can watch everything and not have to stare way down at the bottom of my screen. I just healed myself and I was like, why did its health not go up? I was like, wait a second. I want that to go down. Silly me. Alright, now we can go kill this dude. You forgot to say you got Paladin to 70 today. Awesome, grats. I need to finish my warrior to 70. It's close though. I think I'm, I'm either 67. I may have hit 68. I can't remember. Obviously I can't check because that's on a different character. Oh, look at my lily stacks that I can do dick all with. Except uh, I can use them on Asylum. That is it though. I need to use Asylum more. I don't use it enough. Is a problem. I also need to start thinking about learning some scholar because my raid group that or my raid group the raid group I'm trying out for, um, which it seems promising that that I'll I'll likely be joining them, but obviously until such a time happens. So. Shouldn't get too attached to it. But anyways, they're hoping to do some speedruns, and they have an Astrologian, so they want me to play Scholar. And th they said it was fine if I didn't want to, but that would be ideal, and so obviously I'm not going to say, no, I won't. I'm definitely down to giving it a try. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to spend some time uh, learning, learning how to play Scholar properly and getting some practice on it. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to wait until after my trial. So I, I just want to be fresh on, on White Mage. Because one of my biggest issues is the more I play other classes, the more I forget how to play my main class, which sucks. My brain can't handle it all. Tell them no, I'm White Mage. See? I want to, but I don't want to be inflexible. Many thanks, Brave Adventure. Finally, I can join a bath without the smell of raw dragonfish assaulting my senses. Say, a dip in the waters might serve to uh, freshen you up as well, Kupo. Are you saying I stink? How dare you. I mean, ultimately it would be good for me to, to play some other classes to get better at my other healers. For prog, though, I, I only want to play white mage. But, but now that I know the fight... As long as I learn <laughs> learn how to play play scholars should be okay. And ultimately, playing other classes will make me a better way mage too. So. It is what it is. Oh, I gotta fight shit. That wasn't part of the deal. I am not gonna holy them, because I will probably run into mana if I do so. Oops. I forgot! Oh, god. Did I avoid that? Nope. That was terrible. I, my god, I'm terrible at placing shit. Did you find Choco slow, what? It may be quicker to sprint. Oh, no, nah, 
It's because they're so used to the speed increase that now that we don't want to do stuff where you don't have it yet, it's awful. We've been spoiled. Screw you, dragon. All right. Continuing on my way north. I wish I could fly, but the whole point is that they make you walk through these zones before you can fly through them. Which is probably for the best, or you'd like never get to really, you'd never experience it on the ground. But it sucks. I would probably pay, pay for a, you know how they have like a level skip and a story skip? I would pay for an Aether Current skip. Just let me fly. Been there, done that. It, that sh I feel like that should be one of those things that once you unlock it on one character, it should kind of just be unlocked on all of them. <laughs> Someone in the novice network is complaining. They're like, we wiped it 3% before because both healers decided, fuck it, I'll stand in the purple line AoE and Susanna. What? This guy's not dead? In the Susanna Extreme. Speed boost unlocks for the ARR zone. Yeah, but... You're hating farming allied seals. Yeah, I need to do that more. Oh, and then they all rage quit. Lovely. Oh, people. Oh my god, place shit. I hate. I really need to make a targety thing. It'll probably make me less angry. <laughs> less perpetually angry. You're doing weekly hunt, whatever fades from the daily hunt pack whenever you have the time. That doesn't sound so exciting. Another dragon! Hello, sir. Let me fight you. Uh oh, more yawning. I'm so tired all the time, guys. I don't even know. I think it's more of a boredom thing, though, than a tired thing. Sometimes I'm legit tired, but I'm not actually that tired. I just yawn when I'm bored. And I hate fighting this shit. <laughs> I love the quests, but oh my god, just like fighting random trash because I'm so slow as healer. Like, I realize I'm not that slow, but it just feels really slow. You're on Gilga, getting actual A and S rank groups is rough. Why why is that? Is it just because they like they fill up really quickly or what? Oh look an Aether current. Let me hmm, this looks like a way up. Oh look at that it is. Easy peasy. I don't think I think I only have like one. I think I unlocked Corvus and that was it. Mama Slacker. And I spent all my time playing Haley instead of doing things on Ari. Oh, there's three of them! Where are the other ones? Oh, they're behind me. Well, once you group up, group up, maybe I'll hold it a little bit. They fill up quick when there's early pulls. Fuck! Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> that just made me run so far away. Why are your AoEs so huge, dragons? Why are they so huge? Alright, I'm not gonna run out of mana this time. I was gonna say, wait, there's only one left, but no, there's still two. There's still two. Now I've been turned around. I don't even know which way I was going anymore. Uh, the answer is this way. Okay. Is 
Sounds like the the better option would just be to start your own PF for it. I really need to do more hunts though. Maybe someday. <laughs> These little chocobo things. Nothing. Alright, what say you? You like your sanity? Why would that make you go insane? It takes like two seconds to put it up and then other people would fill it. Is that someone from below? How did you get past the Archaeosaurs infesting the road? What? Momsy asked you to slay them for him. Just like him depend on the kindness of strangers. We've been barely able to venture outside a saw for fear of being attacked. Now, thanks to you, the roads are just a little safer, Koopo. You're welcome. Look at that, another Aether current hiding back there. Things were a bit bitey there for a while, but I think we arrived in one piece, Koopo. I always I wonder what the dragon what has the dragon so awfully snappy. I mean, the bad ones are always bad, but they seem worse than usual. Alright, I don't want any of this stuff. Give me a gill. Even though they probably sell for a decent amount. What does this look like? Don't be ugly, don't be ugly. Mmm, it's kind of ugly. Waiting for the winds to change, Mogan seems fretful about the weather. Hmm, we may have a small problem, Koopo. When the winds are high like this, Hraisvulgar invariably abandons his lofty perch and heads to the land below to hunt. If you tried blowing the horde now, I doubt he'd hear it. I suggest we stop at the clearing up ahead and rest until the wind dies down. And make me do a bunch more quests for you? Are there... No. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Seriously. Seriously? God damn it. They taunted me! Only 136 yelms to the south. That's not far at all. Is it still to the south? Yeah. Oh, I can't go that way. Hmm. Hmm. What's over there? There it is. I bet you there's a quest that brings us over here, but whatever. Hmm. Hmm. I seem to need to go around the other way. Alright, where am I headed? Oh, oh wait, I am headed that way. Okay, so I was supposed to stumble across this. Well then. Don't aggro me. I don't want to fight you. I don't think this is a way through. No. No, where am I supposed to go here? Ugh! Just trying to avoid that. Walk straight into it. I don't think this is the way either. Oh, oh, this is kind of the way. Okay, never mind. But it looks like we gotta go up this way. Oh, uh, I guess we'll do this feat. Oh good, the amputator left me. Where is he going? Wow, 
Why is that guy running away? Is he trying to make me tank? Oh, I guess I could heal him and stuff. I wasn't even paying attention, poor guy. Magoosh, the misbehaven. Don't you have some Koopo nuts to gather? Is this dragon just like taunting him? Feel free to heal at any time. I'm pretty sure he, yeah, he runs. Silver! What kind of goddamn bullshit is that? Also, let me on my mount. So much bullshit. Oh look, another Aether. Aether current. do nicely Koopa the winds will likely die down by tomorrow but until then we might as well make ourselves comfortable if we must interrupt our journey so close to its end I suppose this place is as good as any and may have some brief respite from the hardships of the road will help clear our minds and re readiness for the coming parlay very well then I believe a campfire is in order leave the gathering of fuel to me I acquired a keen nose for firewood during my time in the frozen wastes of Corthus <laughs> Clear our minds. Tis Master Elfino whose mind needs clearing. The thought of meeting a great worm in the flesh has befuddled the boy. Did you see him stroll away as if these ruins were not crawling with deadly beasts? Follow him, Haley. Say that the wildlife does not make a meal out of your, our young friend. We will have the camp ready by the time you return. Estinian, be nice. Don't aggro me. No. It's going to make jumping off this cliff rather difficult. I'll be it. Oh, I can't jump off this cliff. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Fudge. Oh, dear God. I've made a terrible mistake, guys. Ugh, sigh. Train miss is rather annoying. It's like they're just waiting for me. Yeah, this would have brought me in. Yeah, the thing was like right up on that hill, wasn't it? Even if I missed it on the way in, I would have got it now. You sense a hostile presence. A tree? Melia Matron. Whoa. Oh, yeah, it probably helps if I get off my mount. Oh, I didn't need to interrupt that. God damn it. No, thank you. <laughs> Alphano, what are you doing? He's not even here. I'm just fighting random shit. This is dumb. You sense a hostile presence. Alphano, where, where are you? Rise and fall. Nope.
Why am I painting trees when there's like no trees anywhere around here? I mean, there are trees, but there's no like enemy trees. All right, Alpha No. West of his location. Oh, I'm just circling around him. I see. It was a uh, keep him safe while not let him letting him know I'm keeping him safe. I see how it is. Uh oh. I just realized that we left. We left Alpha No. Not Alpha No. Sidian and Izel alone on camp. They didn't kill each other while we were gone. Because <laughs> we had the Mog to keep them, to chaperone them. I see I was right to worry about the boy's safety. Once Alpha No returns with the wood, we can see about supper. The Ice Queen has filled a pot with what looks like stew ingredients, ready for the fire. What a- did you just like roll that out and it's just like perfectly in a pile to make fire? Aww, campfire time. Oh, oh, yes! That was a good screenshot. Is the Moogle drunk? A uh, few things compare to the simple pleasure of sitting beside, beside a crackling campfire of one's own making. Ha! So speaks the great explorer. Until recently, you wouldn't have recognized firewood if it came with kindling and a flint. Tis well you instructed me so patiently, then. But yes, left to my own devices, I would have been compelled to signal to Yazale with a pile of damp leaves. I was born the pampered son of a Charlayan dignitary, and alongside my twin became the youngest students ever to be accepted into the studium. How proud I was to match wits with scholars and philosophers, how ignorant of my own shortcomings. That hubris invited manipulation and betrayal, and led to the downfall of the scions. We are all of us guilty of similar ignorance. How many men lay down their lives, never knowing what it is they fight for, never questioning that which they have been taught to believe. T'was only upon meeting Horace Velger that I learned the hidden truth within our history. Were it not for that chance encounter, I would never have vowed to tear down the Holy See and expunge the falsehoods with which it fans the flames of conflict. I would have lived and died in ignorance. That the truth has driven me to do terrible things I cannot deny, but I would rather sin in the pursuit of peace than imagine myself virtuous for perpetuating a needless war. If this journey has taught me anything, it is the importance and difficulty of holding to one's convictions in the face of failure, of striving always to replicate one's ignorance or replace one's, one's ignorance with knowledge. You are well in your way, Master Elfino. At your age, I was but a fool swinging a spear with scarcely a thought in my head. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know that you're any different now, Estidian. <laughs> Even now, I struggle to acknowledge the mixed conceptions under which I have labored. Oh, that's such a pretty shot. Sitting here amongst these grand ruins... How can I deny that man and dragon once lived in peace? But for all that such an age existed, we are now in time of war. Nidhogg killed my family, and no quirk of history will exonerate him. I may be ignorant of how the Dragon Song War began, but if we do not put an end to this conflict now, I can say for a certainty that it will only breed more vengeful souls such as mine.
In my hand resides the power to vanquish a great worm. If Ishgard's survival rests on me wielding that power, I will slay Nidhogg myself. Orders or no. Estinian, you gave your word. My word is contingent upon the success of our parley. Show me the strength of your convictions, Lady Iceheart. Convince Harris Velgar of the righteousness of your cause. Doubt not but that I shall, Dragoon. Well, wind's willing, we shall have our answers on the morrow. Let us sleep now and face our fate with the rising of the sun. Give me a robe. Hmm. What am I looking for out of this button? Oh, it's not. It's not an upgrade. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Heart of Ice. Mogan is gaining meaningfully at the path to Zenith. The campfire was so cozy, I must have fallen asleep, Kupo. But do you feel how the winds have shifted? They will bore Harisvelgar back to the skies above Zenith. I'm sure of it. This is your chance to climb to the highest floor of the palace and summon him with a doop on that shiny horn. So, uh, I'll be headed back now if it's all the same to you. Good luck, Koopo. It was nice knowing you. Um. Alright. I'm gonna actually take a quick three minute break before I continue on. So, don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Really annoying. I think it's pretty cool when I first did it. No, you don't. Not at all. I had a um I was doing mentor roulettes yesterday off stream and I got an in progress Doma Castle. They'd already been in it for 30 minutes when I joined, and they were at the second oh, boss. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you ask what happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> I assume they lost, like, a healer early on and had been, like, gimping their way through it for a while. That's the only thing that I can, like, rationalize to myself. Oh man, that guy almost died. <laughs> he lived by pure luck. He used home gang after um, his health went up from something. That wasn't me though. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. That could have been one of his abilities. Yeah, but it was a lot of health. It was like half his health. Um, Warriors had an ability that healed them for a lot back in Heaven's Sword. Just don't know what it was. Got distracted trying to set everything up so he wasn't gonna die that I forgot to look at his health. Oh, these things wreck so much though. He is alive though. It's all good. What? I did not stand in that. That is a dirty lie. No, don't run away when things are still alive. I'm gonna get hit by one of these. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't kill me. Oh, I failed. 
What'd you do? Oh wait, no, no, we're good, we're good. Oh, I keep lagging. Oh, right. Can't stand in those. And I am back. All right. To Zenith. Let's see if I can make it there without looking at my map. Because it's literally right there and huge. So one would think... I would be capable of making it there. And then we shall get the Aether, right? Which is right there. And where I need to go is beyond that. But I think it's just up the stairs that I gotta go. And then we're gonna get meet Hraceveldgur. And Hraceveldgur is gonna slap, slap his ill around a little bit verbally. And uh, <laughs> then we'll, uh, we'll be good to go. All right, Aetherite, please. Thank you. Mm. Do we meet before it? No, we literally gotta go up. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a a stop on the way. All the way up. This would be wheelchair accessible if it wasn't for all the the rubble. <laughs> Did we make it? Oh look, Aether, Aether current. know what that horn would sound like. I guess if it's magical, maybe. Mortals, why do you disturb my solitude? I love dragon speak. Oh man, I missed it. seems to be missing an eye. Thou speakest the name of a creature that but awaiteth the release of oblivion. Leave me. Svelga, do you not remember me? Twas I whom you found in Dravania. I who glimpsed the truth. The truth about your past. About Shiva. Do not speak her name, mortal. But speak it I must. I have summoned Shiva's soul from the beyond and offered myself as her vessel. She has made her heart known to me. Foolish girl. Thinkest thou my beloved spirit hath descended from the heavens? That the secret of her secrets of her heart are thine to know. I have surrendered mine to her. 
Do you not see, my love? I am Shiva reborn! Gullible fool. The light but illuminated the past for thee. It did not grant thee omniscience. <laughs> hey, Clay, you're playing Terraban. Did you clear at least a bunch of stuff? How far are you guys in your resets? No. to get booted from your static. I doubt that. The spirit thou hast summoned belongeth not to Shiva. Tis but a shade conjured by thy own fancy. Only finished two. In an age long past, mine own kin were guilty of like folly. Beguiled by the Dark One's lies, they attempted to resurrect a king amongst worms. Yet the divinity they called forth mere, merely borrowed the semblance of my fallen brood brother. Such gods are not summoned, but created. Phantoms, phantoms spun from the threads of misplaced faith. Then the spirit that answered me. Was but thy dream of Shiva. Thy soul hath been corrupted by a deity of thine own making, child. She looks so sad. Haley looks so good, though. Be that as it may, Lord Tracefelder, Isel's desire to heal the rift between man and dragon is real, and it has borne us this far. We would spare both our kind and yours the ravages of this senseless war. Pray join your voice to ours in a call for peace and forgiveness. <laughs> The tale of thy kind is one of avarice, treachery, and death, and thou wouldst speak to me of peace? Hark thee, mortal, to the naked truth. Then tell me thou deserveth forgiveness. Twelve hundred years ago, my beloved Shiva sacrificed. Sacrifice served to bring an end to the war twixt man and dragon, paving the way for an age of peace and cooperation. Two centuries of harmony were to follow, during which time the Elizin learned much about us. Not the least that the eyes of a great worm are the wellspring of his strength. That looks kind of like a Sinian. T'was out of the selfish desire to possess this strength that King Thornton then conspired to undo all that our people had achieved together. Another King Thornton? <gasps> With the aid of his leal knights, the... What is leal? CJ, are you around? <laughs> With the aid of his leal knights, the most noble of Elizin lured my brood sister, Ratatoskar, into an ambush and took for the, her, from her that which he craved. Skin. 
Fain would I strike the image from my mind, yet still the scene doth linger of my brood sister's tattered corpse defiled by her Ellas and allies. They had torn out her eyes and feasted upon them in the manner of wild beasts. Gross. Yet that was not all, for from their bloody banquet the fiends gained strength beyond that of mortal men. Even now I labor to comprehend the enormity of their betrayal. That's gross. They, they ate her eyes. Nidhogg was the first to learn of this atrocity, and he took to the skies, hungry for vengeance. But though he slew Thordan and some few of his knights, their fellow butchers knew only too well to where to aim their spears, and with now practiced savagery, they set about my brood brother, sending him flailing from the field. Such is the truth the Holy See would keep hidden. Such was the beginning of the Dragon Song War. "'Tis a song my kind shall ne'er forget, in even should thousands of thousands years pass and Ishgard crumble into dust." Your tale bears scant resemblance to the one I was told. How convenient! that it should absolve your kind of all responsibility. But tell me, dragon, why should I believe your version of events? What thou choosest to believe is immaterial. The betrayal that yet haunts mine every waking moment is no less than the truth to my kind. And Nidhogg meaneth for Thornton's people to suffer for this sin till the end of days. That which thou imaginest, a war of extinction, is but a punishment, a siege of the spirit. Hast thou not seen those who tire of the torment, those who abandon their own inside with dragon kind? Ishgard's so-called heretics. I'm confuzzled. Know that all the traitor's progeny bears a trace of Rastaker's essence, but a single sip of our blood is enough to waken it. Then the seed lies within us. Wait, is that that makes them turn into dragons if they drink it? Tis for this reason that those who abandon their loyalties are rewarded with a drink, and thus they are transformed to join the ranks of Nidhogg's ever-growing army as newborn dragons. One by one, through death or defection, my brood brother shall account for all of the betrayal's children, betrayer's children. Ye gods, I have borne witness to such a transformation. Looked on as a heretic assumed the shape of a dragon. I imagined it's some manner of Dravanian enchantment. 
But if any Ishgardi, regardless of allegiance, has such potential within them, Twelve, forgive us. To think of all the dragons we've slain. There will always be some, of course, who choose to fight until the bitter end, like the dragoon. But struggle as thou might, thy youthful vigor will be spent ere thou reach, reachest two score and ten, and Nidhogg shall remain to torment thine offspring. How much is two score and ten? What is two score? Oft have I wondered why Nidhogg did not simply raise Ishgard to the ground. Now I have my answer. He has no intention of winning the Dragonsong War. For it is no war at all, but vengeance, an eternal requiem sung for his murdered sister. Thou hast the right of it, Dragon Slayer. Comprendest thou now the futility of thy quest? I have not come this far only to admit defeat. We can still return the eye to Nidhogg and beg forgiveness for our ancestors' crimes. Mayhap our words will sway him. Stubborn child, thou thinkest in mortal terms. Our perception of time is too broad for these to grasp. Tis a simple matter for thee to offer thine apologies. Thou didst not perpetrate the crime. Despite thy visions, the deeds of history seem distant to thee. For a worm such as Nidhogg, however, that history is yet part of his present, as fresh as the blood that did gush from Rastaker's wounds. How could he not be driven mad? Tis only by the calming embrace of Shiva's soul that mine own fury hath not consumed me. But, well, <laughs> but let us speak no more of what is done. My faith in your kind is spent, and I would be alone. I guess they both kind of got told off a little bit. <sighs> is they all way more than Estinian, though? And I think she, like, took it a lot harder than Estinian. What she heard. Her race vulgar was ever but as awe-inspiring as I imagined. His voice verily dripped with power. The will behind his words so undeniable that it transcended my ignorance of the dragon's tongue. It is but a pity that I misliked what he said. Ah, so far did we travel, even unto the very heavens themselves, only to be dismissed like unruly children. Far from mitigating this humiliation, the hidden truths we have learned serve only to prove that our grand mission of peace was destined to fail from the first. Nothing will deter Nidhogg from his course. The Worm's Lair. Alphano is considering your party's next course of action. Ugly pants. So they're actually kind of cute.
Well, what do you propose we do now? I, for one, am intent on continuing to the east. What is there to be found in the east? Nidhogg's lair, the Airy, is said to lie in that direction. And the eye tells me he is near. You cannot still mean to slay him. You cannot still mean to stop me. I have been true to my word and aided you in this fool's errand with Hreisvogger. But your efforts at Pali have come to naught, Lady Iceheart. I would see Ishgard saved, and for that, Nidhogg must die. With the tale of our ancestors' vile betrayal yet ringing in your ears, you speak of continuing this war? Nay, Lady. I would but pierce its vengeful heart. When Nidhogg dies, this war shall die with him. A moment, Astinian. You yourself spoke of the Great Worm's strength, that you believed him powerful enough to raise your city to the ground. How then are we few to challenge him? Even behind the stout walls of Ishgard, with an army of knights manning the defenses, our victory would be hard won. Yet you propose to contend with the beast in his own lair. In close combat, this will afford us an advantage. And if the tales are true, the Warrior of Light has bested many an invincible foe. But such speculation is meaningless if we cannot even find the worm. Our first task must be to seek out Nidhogg's lair. <laughs> Where does he keep that eye? It's kind of big. He hasn't got any, like, anything to carry it with. Does he just, like, tuck it in his armor? The story of this nation grows bloodier by the moment. Must death always be answered with more of the same? Such is the way of things, I fear. I shall consider it a miracle if mine armor is not stained crimson ere this conflict is ended. Um... Ooh, foreshadowing. His armor will be stained crimson. I be blinded by my own lies. Everything I believed. Everything I thought I was. Gone. All gone. Leave her. Your words will not reach her now. And we have not the time to wait for her to gather up the pieces of her shattered faith. Oh, screw you, Stinian. Now where am I going? Back that way. All right. Quick way down. We head to the area. No. Ugh. Why? Why are there so many places that I should be able to jump over, but they just don't let me because there's a hole? I'm not going to fall in it. Trust me. Uh-oh. Sleepy time. More dragons. I only have to kill one of these dragons. I managed not to aggro the other one. Oh, they are both things I need to kill. Alright, well then. Ugh, people flying. So jealous. Wait, where? Now where am I going? Oh. 
way that way. Can I jump down here? No. I've made a terrible mistake. We're gonna go around this way. Northeast, conveniently in the direction that I'm headed. What am I doing? Just traveling randomly and killing dragons, apparently. This is our, my, like, wrathful march from, from Zenith after getting bad news. Oh, right, I can't target these things yet. Moss, dragon, and waiting. Oh, did I get hit with that? I totally did. Good grief. Why am I so weak, Sauce? to head up this way. Wait, where? Where is this? North. Can I go north from here? Don't think. Oh, maybe. Maybe we can go north over here. That's a big hole. Oh, I ran straight in front of the dinosaur. I feel like I'm on like a murderous dragon rampage. Oh, it's right there. Right in front of my face. I was just thinking it's almost 11. I get to go to bed and then I remembered that nope. I stream until 12. Which, I mean, I could finish if I wanted to, but I should stream till 12. I got quests to do. I should probably get this dungeon to do soon enough. Seems like I'm going to be unlocking... Locking the airy shortly. That was unnecessary. All right. Oh, there's another one. Oh, God. Amphitar Straggler. <laughs> He's too slow. Calamitous winds. No thanks. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna know that. Slowed! Ugh! Awful. Torture. Is this where the entrance to the area is? Stupid telehands. Don't wanna fight you. I imagine there's a... Yeah. Oh, it's right over there. Let me go grab it first. 
right in the bowl. Too far away. I'm like right next to it. Sigh. That's a fate that's up there. That big one. I don't know that much. Oh, where am I going? No, I don't want to fight you. Don't want, don't want. Don't want. Waiting to inhale. The Moogle on the watchtower is cradling her rumbling tummy. Whatever can be taking her so long, Koopa? My replacement should have been here already, but I don't see her anywhere. I'm so hungry. I wager we should, she went home on account of those troublesome telehands that are flapping about. If you slay four of them, that should secure a safe path. Given my replacement, no excuse. Please, my stomach begs you. Alright. I shall kill them now. Oh, there's somebody doing the fate. And they'll hop in on that. After I kill this one, which is going to take a bajillion years. Ah, it's so slow. Oh, I am dying. Is someone flying? Titan Eggy. Woggle, woggle, woggle. I think that's the name of this fate, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not crazy. I'm not just making this shit up. Yeah, we should, um, there we go. Needs a regen. Slightly longer than arrow? I think I just refreshed them in like the opposite <coughs> opposite order. Hi Nagy's getting wrecked. That should have been an arrow. I'm sad this won't count as one of the things I need to kill, but it will give me some XP, so. That's fine. Alright, Titan should be alright now. I think he can manage. Die, Woggle. I got full credit for that. It's actually not that much XP though. <coughs> oh, I have a slight case of no mana. Well, I can do something about that. just having some wishful thinking that come 4.1 they'll surprise us with um, taking a Suna off roll abilities and just giving it back to all of us. I hate that so much. Or getting rid of Protect. I mean, I'd actually love both, but I imagine that's not something that's coming anytime soon. Maybe they'll fix it come 5.0. Protect is so pointless now. It's just tedious. To use and Asuna is just annoying because you either have to keep it on your hotbar and never use it for most things, or not keep it on your hotbar and then forget it when you need it. There's, there's no happy medium. Well, 
What? I didn't actually eat. Ugh. Cause my stuff's not locked. Why is it not locked? It should be. There we go. All right. You are dead. I will turn in this quest. I should come back and slay that one again. Uh, thank you. Now that the telehands are out of the way, it's only a matter of time before my replacement gets here. I'm about to pass out from hunger, so I'll think I'll go ahead. What could go wrong, Koopo? Uh. Uh. Lots of things, actually. Is this the entrance to the area? How's it going? Is that it? Oh, that's the area? That's where Nidhogg lives. Aye. That would be the area. I feel Nidhogg's presence through the eye. His caustic hatred gnawing at my soul. It would seem the death of his consort has put him on guard. Mark how he wards his lair with tempestuous winds. He had a good raid night? Nice. A similar barrier once barred our entrance to the primal Garuda's domain, until we discovered the means by which it could be penetrated. Mayhap it is time we called upon Master Garland. It will be just like the good old days, no? I like to imagine that Estinian was making a funny face due to his use of the word penetration. Penetrated. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, give me pants. I don't want to wear them, but give them to me anyways. Actually, I think I can glamour these, so this is an upgrade. That's fine. And it is. Please let me glamour them though, because it's gross. At least these ones I don't have to die. There we go. Just as cute as ever. New wins, old friends. Estinian would have you enlist the aid of Sid Garland. Hmm, a force of sufficient power to break through Primal's defenses might conceivably grant us access to the area. And I can offer no better solution. Pray, consult this engineer friend of yours. Very well, on the condition that you swear not to learn Nidhogg from his lair in our absence. And steal all the glory for myself, you mean? Nay, I am not so selfish as that. Contact me by Link Pro when your preparations are complete. We shall set forth from Ishgard together. Wait, he's going back to Ishgard? I thought he wanted to stay away from Ishgard. I suggest we rendezvous back at St. Renette's Forum, Haley. From what I gleaned of the Holy See's decidedly ambitious airship product project, Sid will still be in Ishgard. Where am I going? Hmm. Alright. Oh yeah. Can't use them out. What do we got? Something over here. What are all these quests? Oh, leaves, machinas. I believe I can fly! I want that one. <coughs> Could have gotten that one done so long ago. When last you saw Master Garlong, he was advising the Ishgardians in their ailing airship, correct? In that case, he might still be at Camp Cloudtop. Failing that, we could try the airship landing, or maybe even Sky Seal Manufactory. But let's not waste time searching aimlessly. Someone in the city is sure to know where to find him. The question is who... Sir Amrook would seem the obvious choice, but there's no guaranteeing he would be able to grant us an audience at short notice. Ah, I have it! Count Edmund's younger son prides himself on knowing all the Holy See's juiciest rumors. Let us return to the manor and see if Lord Amenalain is around. I suppose. I'm gonna go pick up this quest, though. Which I am reminded of the quest in... Where is this? Inside? 
The quest in 11 to get your chocobo that required you feeding a chocobo once an hour for like six hours before you could, you could get it. I believe I can fly. Arno Lane believes your chocobo capable of reaching still greater heights. Whew, pardon me for saying so, friend, but you stink. Not an unpleasant stink, mind you. Rather, you stink of chocobo, a distinctive scent for which I must confess a certain fondness. Um, I don't appreciate being told I smell like chocobo. Why is this poor woman freezing over here? Not that musky aroma of a wild bird, nor the common scent of a rental chocobo who's carried thousands. No, yours is a stink singular and true. Would I be correct to surmise you are a proud owner of your very own bird? Of course I am. As a chocobo trainer, I practically sleep in these stables. Gives, your nose, gives you a nose for this sort of thing if you catch my drift. But enough about me. I must tell, you must tell me all about your faithful steed. And how I stink of it? Arthas, is it? <laughs> a fine name, that. And issued by your grand company, you say. I know the grand companies of Eorzea have many fine birds in their rank, but if all you say is true, I dare say your bird is a particularly stalwart specimen. <laughs> huh. What's this? Your bird has even been trained in the foretop methodology. I knew I detected a cultural room in that scent. Why, I've not sniffed such a remarkable bird in ten, no, twenty years. Wait, what do they mean trained in the Fort Taunt methodology? When was it trained? Such singular strength and intellect. Why, it would not surprise me if your bird could learn to fly. Oh, I can assure you this is no jest. While it is true that only Chocobo's black of feathers are natural-born flyers, there are records of other breeds that have been trained to take the skies. I can understand your skepticism, but to a student of chocobo breeding such as myself, this is a little surprise. After all, the flyers and the flightless possess common ancestry. The grounded birds do not lack the physical capacity, but that they have merely forgotten how to for lack of necessity. I dare say if any chocobo could be trained to take to the heavens like his feathered forefathers, it's your Arthas. What say you, friend? My brother Prior Fay is a chocobo trainer at Tailfeather and something of an expert in these training methods. Bring your bird to him and, and I'll tell you, friend, the sky's the limit. Alright, let's go to Tailfeather. That was a wordy quest. Where are you? Somewhere over here. Oh, you must be the one Arnolaine spoke of. Yes, there can be no mistaking it. That is the scent of a remarkable bird. A bird who is destined for the heavens. But why are we talking when we could be flying? Yes, let us begin the training without further ado. The process of teaching a flightless chocobo to soar involves awakening the instincts of its flying forebears that lie dormant within. The most efficient way to do so is to allow it to experience the life of a wild bird. Take the chocobos that run free throughout the chocobo forest. These birds subsist on wild fruit and berries, but to secure sustenance they must fight for their lives against hordes of vicious insects. Yes, but if your Arthas were to experience the thrill and fear of staring down the bee clouds of Dravania, it might not be long before the blood of a flyer stirs within those veins. Um, so what am I doing now? With your Chocobo Summon, Slay Dravanian Bee Cloud. Oh, Alright. Uh, I do believe I have some... special Greens. Come, Arthas. Let's go slay things. things this way is it a very specific thing I'm killing I don't remember there being bee clouds around here I feel like the wild chocobos look kind of naked I guess that's a weird thing oh god you know what sounds like a job for holy and I should out level these things 
quite, quite handily. Hmm. They are not dying quite as quickly as I'd hoped. But they will die, and I won't run out of mana, so it's all good. Can you fly yet, Arthas? <coughs> Are you just as useless as cat Arthas? I assume I'm going back to talking to this guy. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was flying for a second. I can like double jump in this. That's so weird. Oh wait, oh wait, no I can fly in this zone! God damn it, I'm an idiot! I forgot I could fly here. <laughs> what am I doing? I was like, why am I like double jumping here? Oh man, I see that the training goes well. Excellent, in the Chocobo Forest, your bird experiences the thrill of battle and heard it with its own ears the buzzing of those infernal bees. Many scholars posit that the sound plays an important role in awakening the dormant abilities of a flightless bird. Most chocobos that we export are captured not long after they leave the nest. Likely your bird is hearing these sounds for the first time in its life. Now, for the next stage in this training, your chocobo must feel the same wind that its ancestors once knew. And yet, this wind blows in a place that the average bird would be hard-pressed to reach. Fortunately, the chocobo has a keen sense of smell, and that is where you come in, friend. Travel to the highest point near Chailfeather and Falcon's Nest. Let the wind... Embrace you and let your bird take in the scent. Surely this will go far to awaken the memories of Harthus's high flying forebears. Uh, Alright. Let's get a mount that can fly. Since we can fly. Oh, I listen to this music so much now. It does give me this mount an awful lot. Arthas, you disappear here. I need to die Arthas Black. The crisp winds of the Dravanian forelands envelop you. What memories will they awaken within Arthas? Alright, uh, I assume I need to go to Falcon's Nest, yeah. Where am I going here? Okay. It's not terrible. Where, where am I facing? There we go. Ooh, look at the northern lights. So pretty. I've seen the northern lights before. They're pretty crazy looking. They do look like that. It's so weird. I don't understand. Oh, it's not going to be up here. <sighs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I'm so yawny. Waiting, waiting, waiting. The brisk winds of Corthus envelop you. What memories will they awaken with an earth? This that said the same thing again. Alright, do we go back to prior fight? Yeah. So let's teleport to Tailfeather. And you are over here somewhere. Oh, I can fly. I keep forgetting. I'm getting really confused when I jump. 
I can smell the winds upon you, friend. I have no doubt that the same can be said of your faithful Arthas. You mean you can't smell them on him? With this, your bird's training is complete. Oh, thank God. The final stage of training is yours. You need only learn to read the winds that you might lead your chocobo safely and surely upon them. To read the winds, you must be retuned to the currents of Aether. Yes, to read them well, send the birds soaring high into the heavens. Be proud of Arthas, friend. Excuse me. For only the bravest and brightest of birds succeed in learning to fly. I gladly give you this reward to both of you. Be well, and may we meet again in the skies above. What do you give me? Oh, right, the barding. Arthas has learned to fly. How convenient. Oh! Wait, did this not show me? Oh, no! It just didn't show me it because of, um... Ugh. Ugh. God damn it. Anyways, whatever. I don't really want to... I want to keep writing this anyways. Because it's so cute. Alright, actually, we need to go back to Foundation. You can get on a mount in Ishgard. Someday, maybe. But not today. And not ever, currently. <laughs> Unless well, someday they make it you so you can ride mounts in town. I just tried to get on my mount again. Why? Why do I do these things? Such a habit. Welcome, Mistress Anaya. Shall I show you inside the manor? Yeah, sure. Why not? <sighs> oh my goodness. Ah, the hero returns. How goes your flight, old girl? Fight, old girl. Stop calling me old girl. Every time he says that, I want to, like, punch him in the face. Well, I trust. Hmm, in search of Sid Garland, you say? Then say no more. The taverns are full of talk, and the name of said silver-haired genius has cropped up more often than most. I hear he has been tasked with getting the monstrous airship the Holy See commissioned to actually fly. It would seem the project has plagued, been plagued with mishaps from the first. In any case, Garland Iron Ironworks employees are known to frequent the airship landing, and I'll wager their master does too. Because that's not the most obvious way place to look for him. <laughs> the airship landing? Yes, I thought as much. Come, Haley, we must find Sid and trouble him for his expert opinion. Man. realize my bot's not running. What a scrub. I'm sorry. To the if 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 I can't even pronounce it today. Athenium Astrologicum? Something like that. Oh like it said. That was easy. Haley, Alphano, how fare you both? Not terribly well, judging by your faces. Greetings, Master Garland. I'm sure it will come as little surprise when I tell you we have need of favor. Another wind barrier? And you say it was conjured by Nidhogg? Hmm. The Enterprise could certainly take you where you need to go. But she would not fare well against dragons. She's agile if her ship her size, but not that agile. The Dravanians would fly rings around her. And if they took it into their heads to incinerate the rigging, there would be precious little we could do to avoid them. But there must be something we can do. Some manner of weapon we could employ. The Sinian stands vigil at the edge of the turning mist. If we don't know how much longer... All right, all right. I said it was impossible for the Enterprise. We need a smaller boat. Biggs, Wedge, it's time we gave that new toy of yours a proper field test. <sighs> it's probably best if I let the lads show you. Come on, the manufacturer is not far.
Where am I going? Skyscale Manufactory. Of course. Of course. There's not another... No, for some reason I thought there was an Aetheroid on the airship landing, but it's right next to this one, so... That was unlikely. I'm whoops, I clicked the wrong button. I'm missing something though. I don't ha Oh the probably the broom. Yeah, I've not been to the broom yet. That would make a lot of sense. Anyways, we need to go to Sky Steel Manufactory. I don't see them. You are in the Sky Steel Manufactory. Alright. Stop trying to get on a mountain in the city. God damn it. All right. Our little project's just inside. Oh, you're going to like this one. Damn it. Feast your eyes upon our latest and greatest feat of engineering. We call it a mana cutter. Oh yeah, this thing. After you put down Gaius, Wedge and me struck out on our own for a bit and started work on the successor to the tiny Bronco. Impressive little thing, isn't she? My talent for ship design has plainly rubbed off on her. They've adapted the principles of corrupted crystal technology and constructed a mechanism which converts ether from its surroundings into elemental wind. Said wind is then harnessed by the specially engineered sails, providing the craft with propulsion and lift. I'm actually a little upset that I didn't think of it myself. <laughs> the design does, however, come with one small flaw. It blows up. The energy conversion ratio is bloody awful. To generate enough power to get you off the ground, you need to be in an area awash with predominantly wind-aspected ether. In other words, there are a few places you can fly, lots of places you can't. <laughs> the new Ishgardian airship hasn't left the boys much time for tinkering, meaning it may be a while before this particular project takes off, if you'll forgive the pun. Whoa. Did she get new pants? Tataru, what's happened? I've been looking all over for you. There's been word from Alda. It's about her grace, the Sultana. It seems you're required elsewhere. Leave the mana cutter with us. We'll see that she's airworthy and suitably equipped to slice through those wings. And we're just gonna leave a Stinian standing out there while we go off and do other shit. Seems like a terrible you idea. Meanwhile, should concentrate on providing Raoban and the Sultana whatever help they need. <sighs> I'm going to all die soon then. Hiding. A general summons. Tataru's news for you from Elda. General Raubon says they may have uncovered the Sultana's whereabouts. I was belatedly laughing about the title of that quest. <laughs> and he wants you, by which I mean both of you, to go to the Waking Sands right away and help with the investigation. Come, Haley. Press pressing through Ishgard's plate may be our... Pressing though Ishgard's plate may be, our presence here will not serve to hasten the mana cutter's completion. Let us return to the troubled lands of Thinlin and lend what aid we may. Tataru, have our friends of the congregation send a message. Have our friends of the congregation send a message to Astinian. Tell them we have identified a solution to our problem, but that it will take some time to prepare. As you wish, Master Alphano. To the waking sands, warrior of light. Tis past time old Dao is delivered from this darkness. Alright, now I'm going to 
We can, oh right, waking sands. All right, we're not going to old dull, old dull, old da at all. Did I just call it old dull? I like old da. I would never. Oh man, I'm stiff and sore. Too much gym going, which is good. I shall soon not, hopefully, be less stiff and sore from it. But I'm on week two. I'm following a workout plan, like, for, for weights. Um, sort of. So, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I stick with it. Gotta not be lazy. That's the hardest part. Enter the waking sands. Yep. Oh, there's people here. Look at that. Thank you for coming. No thanks are necessary, General. I trust your recuperation continues apace. Wasn't he in jail? How did he get a... Oh, we broke him out, right? I forgot. I can't complain. Thanks to Higiri and her ministrations, I've regained much of the strength I lost during my imprisonment. Except for your other arm. I gather you have made progress in the search for her grace. Aye, some good fortune at last. A few days past, Dulala informed us that a sizable shipment of alchemical supplies had been delivered to the palace. With Papa Shan's assistance, I set out to ascertain the source and nature of the shipment. My inquiries led me to Frondale's frontistry. There, I learned that an order had been placed for a curious substance designed to sustain patients trapped in death-like slumber. An invention of the former head alchemist, apparently. A death-like slumber? This cannot be a coincidence. It She's... lends some weight to Dulala's claims, aye. Her grace is likely somewhere within the palace, a bed but alive. Before making any attempt to extricate the Sultana, however, it seemed prudent to learn what manner of substance was used to induce her torpor. To that end, I made inquiries as to the whereabouts of the one most like to have administered it. The lady in waiting, Mary. We sent for you as soon as we learned of her location. All that remains is to apprehend the woman. We shall find our cat's paw in the Silver Bazaar. But we must tread carefully. The market is not the bustling place it once was, and someone is sure to mark our coming. Should they inform the monetarists, we'll have a fight on our hands. We must be prepared for the worst, and being short an arm, I thought it wise to take another in its stead. What say you, warrior of light? Being you me yours? short an arm. You can have both of them, Raubon. Then I pity the bastard that stands in our Good world. thing he didn't lose Come his right it. arm. I know, right? For Nanamo, and for Ulda. Hey, countersauce. That was terrible there, speaking over Raubon, when I refused to speak over the dragon's speak. Oh, that was a big, uh, big face. He'd have to learn how to do all the dramatic flares on the left arm. <laughs> Alright, ooh, Lady Geary, what say you? Our target is Marielle, the Sultana's former lady-in-waiting, a woman of Midlander heritage. I'm told the two of you have met. Our sources indicate that she left the palace shortly after the incident, and quietly rejoin the dwindling population of the Silver Bazaar, I suggest we begin by questioning the market's residents and confirm that Marielle is still hiding there. Okay. <sighs> Leave the Waking Sands, yes. Alright, wait, we're going to Silver Bazaar. That is in this zone, I do believe. I think that should be here, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess 
I guess we'll teleport to Ulda. Even though that seems weird, because I feel like I should not be in Ulda at all. But I can go and they can't stop me. Why is there a chocobo butt in my face? Not even my chocobo butt. Alright. We need to exit into Western Thanalan. That's not where I want to go. That'd be the entrance to the goblet. I hate that the leave allowance guy or leave quest guys show up as blue because I have all these blue quests that I ignore because I don't care about unlocking leave quests on this character. Ugh. Speaking of which, I need to use leaves on Ari soon. I'm gonna cap out. I may be capped already, which would be a terrible shame. Last I checked, though, I was at like 57, I think, but that was a few days ago. I suppose I can always switch over to her before I log off tonight and at least pick them up, because I want to get like the 10, the 10 leave quest ones, because I need them for achievements, so I can bur I burn through, <laughs> I burn through leave quests pretty darn quickly. Alright, let's poke you. I've never been here before. I guess so. I started out in uh, Gridania. Who the heck are you? Do I know some of any returning residents? Gods, don't tell me they're starting to come back. My master will not be pleased to hear of this. Uh, that was weird. What brings you to our lonely little hamlet? I believe the arrival of your entourage just about doubled our population. <laughs> Looking for Mariel, you say? If you're hoping to lure her back to Ulda, you may as well give up now. The girl's done with city life. Um, where's the last one? This way? Okay. I gathered it was inside. I just wanted to make sure I went to the right house first so I didn't just flail around wildly. Um, hmm. This seems to not be the place. I need to go... Hmm. Hmm. I'm confuzzled. They're not like hiding out here, are they? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Never mind. Mariel? Aye, she's here. Left the city for good, she says. Barely leaves her house, though. Hmm, it's one of the closest ones to the market entrance. I mean, it's a swim. Is that Mariel? You are Mariel. The Sultana's former lady in waiting? I know no one of that name. Pray excuse me. <laughs> You're a dirty liar. Oh, I missed that. Her eyes, yeah. Is it wrong that I kind of think Raubon looks pretty hot there? He's all like big and manly. <laughs> we will have the truth from you, girl. Mayhap it would be better coming from me. Oh, uh, get the fuck out of here, little Rita. Nobody cares about you. Lolorito, 
you'll best talk fast. As you know, Telegi Adelegi's Cartano Reclamation Bill was no more than a facade. A means to get his grubby little hands on that elegant monstrosity, Omega. Omega? When he of Nanimo's intention to abdicate, however, he was forced to amend his plans. Suddenly, assassination seemed the most promising way to further his ambitions. I am told Telegi had discovered a maid in whose veins ran the blood of House Thorn, a new more pliable puppet to sit the throne. Twould have caused an uproar, of course, but few could have contested her claim. Twas plain that Telegi's wild machinations had outgrown our ability to control them. So I decided to usurp his scheme and left the fool to seal his own demise. And what of Nanamo? Oh, I have no desire to harm her grace. Twould profit me little to destabilize our government. Thus did I employ young Neriel here to administer a potent sleeping potion in place of a poison. You should know, General, that your dear friend Ilbert was fully aware of my plan. Why did he cut Ramon's arm off then? I had him lie about the assassination as a means to prime your rage against Telegi. We weren't entirely sure how you would react, but things went rather better than expected. You conniving little worm. You had your claws in the Crystal Braves before their first recruit had sworn to serve! But of course, when a new game begins, it is only prudent to have a piece on the board. Ilbert was mine. Truth be told, a significant proportion of the Braves' initial endowment was also mine. With such large sums moving about, it was a rather trifling matter to disguise my own contribution. Oh, Alphanode's getting pissed off. Ah, Ilbert. Hmm. I secured his services with a promise to support his cause once my authority had been solidified. Hmm. I swear, the man thinks of naught but prizing Alamigo from the grasp of the Empire. Unlike you, General, the poor fellow seems quite unable to forsake the land of his forefathers. Mayhap, that's why he called you a traitor to your people and a disgrace to your homeland, amongst other things. What was it he always compared you to? Uh, oh, yes, an overgrown lapdog begging for scraps at the Sultana's table. <laughs> oh, how we laughed. Do you want him to cut you in half? <laughs> Alas, Ilbert's entertaining little outbursts eventually gave way to wearisome tirades, and the zealous brute became rather unruly. I had no wish to see you executed, you understand, but he would not take no for an answer. Rest assured, his employment with me has long since ended. Which brings us neatly to the present. What say you, General? Both you and the Sultana are alive. We have one corpse and one fugitive. And preparations have been made to restore your good name. Shall we cry quits and start again with a blank ledger? Hmm? The hells we will! Do you honestly expect me to forgive and forget? After all you've done, you're guilty of high treason! Stay your blade, Master Alden. You yourself are not innocent. Or have you forgotten your own crime in executing Telegi Adelegi without trial? Though you acted out of loyalty to the Sultana, such deeds are in violation of both the word and spirit of the law. Blah, blah, blah. If 
you would, Lord Lollarito? Oh, looks like a light bulb. This potion will wake the Sultana from her slumber. Consider it a gesture of conciliation. What are you sending me, Candersauce? Am I going to regret this? Oh. <laughs> yes, her eyes. You will find her grace resting comfortably within her private chambers. Should you doubt my word, I shall willingly accompany you to the palace as your hostage. I looked, Candersauce. I took a chance. I didn't regret it. I like not your motives, Lollarito. But you saved the Sultana's life, and for that, you have my gratitude. Rauban Aldin, you are hereby reinstated as General of the Immortal Flames. The citizens of Ulda shall once more be united under Nanamo Ulnamo, and together we shall usher in a new age of prosperity. Blah, blah, blah. He's still so angry. Why did he just glare at... Oh, did he glare at her? Aw. All right, what do we do now? Speak with Alpha now. Where are you? Oh, look, you're right out here. By the 12, I feared Lord Lurito's arrival would herald another bloodbath. Little did I suspect that he of all people would gift us the means to rouse the Sultana. Uh, yeah, none of this shit. Awakening in Ulda. Elfno would see this dark chapter in Ulda's history brought to a close. Shall we also make our way to Ulda? I should imagine Bartholomew has been instructed to admit us. To Ulda. Who is Bartholomew? Is he the guy outside the... Um, the... Is it called the promenade? Forget. Yeah, the Royal Promenade. I knew that. I just couldn't remember exactly what it was called. We're allowed back in the city. Well, actually, nobody knew that nobody knew anything. It was all kept really hush hush, so that's why we could sort of come and go. Flame General Raubon mentioned you might be coming. Please, this way, if you will. At least they put her in pajamas. Oh, 
her tiny little feet. I seriously want her bed. Did you feel super rested after sleeping for that long? It's been asleep for like months at this point. Maybe this week's? Oh, she's so adorable! Having the longest dream. You were asleep for the longest time. Oh, Ralvan. Wake up, your grace. Another day begins in Thunderland, and the sun. Blazes bright upon the sands. Oh, he's so happy. Her grace is awoken. The palace physician assures me she is none the worse for her slumber. Haley looks so much better when she smiles. I believe her grace will soon resume her plans to place the government of Ulda into the hands of its citizens. Robon has more scars in his face than he did before, doesn't he? I know he had a lot before, but I think he's got even more now. Whatever path she chooses to take, I shall walk it with her. And we shall tread slowly, lest the nation be unsettled in our way. Does Nanimo know his arm's gone? Her grace's compassion is a shining beacon to us all. But what our city truly thrives upon is competition. Oh god, Laura Lorito. In the struggle against our rivals that opportunities are seized and fortunes made. And with the Empire on the offensive once more, now would hardly seem the time to turn our system of government upon its head. Are you privy to new intelligence, my lord? I would hardly call it new. Remind me, what was the name of that enormous Imperial warship which met its end in Mordona? Oh, wait, I have it. The Agrius. Yes, well, it would appear that the Galeans have been hard at work on another such vessel. How close are they to completing this ship? Is it operational? Its maiden flight was a success, I hear. I should imagine Emperor Varys is eager to see how it performs in battle. My lords and ladies, I move that it is time to repair the damage caused by Telegi Adelegi and prepare our great nation to repel the Empire once more. Oh, Haley's angry. So much anger. <sighs> it is well that the Sultana has awoken. The Syndicate yet needs to put its house in order, but would seem the worst of the confusion has passed. <sighs> yep. Uldar has taken control of its future, and I must do the same. I have decided to disband the Crystal Braves. Man, I thought they were already disbanded. Among the recruits, there were those who supported our order's goals and convictions with all sincerity. Tis my hope that these loyal men and women will choose to remain our allies in the battles to come. 
As for those who sided with the traitor, Illbird, they shall be hunted down and held to account for their crimes. It is my earnest hope that they will surrender themselves peaceably when the time comes, though I think it unlikely. Ah, my all-conquering crystal graves. The model army meant to pave the way for a single unified grand company of Eorzea. That so high an ideal should be brought so low. I need not tell you how deeply the betrayal stung me. Yet I see now that it was mine own naivety and pride which allowed the Braves to fall prey to corruption. As ever, it is to your own shining example that I turn for inspiration. Like you, I mean to stand firm in the face of hardship and give mine all for the cause. Let us resume this search for our missing comrades we might come together to shine the light of dawn across the realm once more. The role of Crystal Brave Commander suited me ill, and I shall play it no longer. Henceforth, I shall be no more or less than Alfino, proud member of the Scions. There aren't much left to the Scions. At least not at this point. All right, now I can get back to Astinian. I blush to speak thus of mine inner toil turmoil, but the fact remains there is no woman alive whom I would rather confide. Were it not for your shining example, I might never have emerged from beneath the pall of my despair. A brave resolution. Alphano would know how things stand at the Rising Stones. Hmm. Still no word from Master Garland. Hope this mana cutter of theirs is nearing completion. I am assured that her grace will make a full recovery. I and old dad too shall flourish once more. General Raubon and his colleagues have matters well in hand, I believe. Lady Ugiri, a question, if I may. I believe your people have been keeping a close watch on the Crystal Braves. Might you know th how things stand at the Rising Stones? Ah, yes, of course. You'll be pleased to know that the 3rd Unit Braves abandoned Revenant's toll when they learned of Captain Ilbert's defeat. The only blue uniforms to be seen now are those sworn by worn by soldiers loyal to you, Master Alphano. Oh, yay, we get the Rising Stones back. To me, I see. I am grateful to hear that at least some of our members were true to their oaths. Ere we return to Ishgard, I must go to the Rising Stones and thank these stalwart for their service. It shall be my final act as a com Crystal Braves commander. Will you join me, Haley? You were there at the company's inception. Tis only fitting that you be present at its end. And I would appreciate the support. I can't get on a mount here. All right, we're going to Mordona. I do believe. I'm going to do it without checking. Pretty sure I'm right. Stop that, Arthas. Enter the Rising Stones. You're alive! They're not wearing their outfits anymore. And Haley, too! I knew you'd scrape through. My splendid crystal braves, I have wronged you, all of you. My promises of glory and salvation have brought you naught but blood and betrayal. Bah, you'll not hear us complaining. It was a sight messier than expected, I. But we were still fighting for the freedom of all, just like we swore. Ain't that right, mates? I
You humble me. I am truly blessed to have such steadfast comrades. It is with the most profound regret, then, that I must... That's enough of that, Commander. We know what you've a mind to say, and we ain't having none of it. We've talked it over, see? We all agreed. You can take our uniforms and strip us of our ranks, but we won't be no less of a company. But the Crystal Braves... The Crystal Braves may be finished, but the ideals upon which the company was founded live on. They bind us to each other and to you. These are great words, but I'm pretty sure they guys dis disappear after this, because I don't remember <laughs> anything coming of this. Commander, Alphano, our minds are made up, so you may as well get used to it. Let us help the Scions. Let us help you find Menphilia and the others. Maybe they help. I honestly don't remember. But my friends, after all that has happened, I know not what to say. He wants to punch people? He's gonna cry? I'm smiling about this. Pray excuse me, I have thought my tears spent. My grandfather used to say that one could measure a man by the consistency of his comrades. Mayhaps I am the exception which proves this rule. Nay, do not protest. I know I am not worthy of their loyalty, Haley. But as Thaliac is my witness, I shall do everything in my power to earn it. Ready to fly. Alpha Node has matters to attend to at the Rising Stones. I must speak of future plans with the remaining braves. Any information we uncover on the missing scions will need to be shared with our allies across the realm, specifically Orianje and the Waking Sands and Tataru and Ishgard. While we are organizing our various channels of communication, I would ask that you call upon Master Garland at the Manufactory. I will join you in Ishgard as soon as I am able. Back to the Manufactory. To Foundation. Oh, I'm ready for bed. Man. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just run here. Oh, this is St. Renette's Forum. Alright. I was like, I know that name, but I don't know where that is. And then they said it was in Foundation. I was like, what? Really? But it is. Um, yeah, not you. <gasps> Haley! How in the seven hells did you do it? I'm just about to send for you. We have but this moment completed the mana cutter's first successful test flight. A few minor adjustments and she'll be ready to go. While we see to the finishing touches, you might want to pay a visit to Foretop Manor. A dragoon by the name of Astinian was looking for you. He, I don't understand why he came back to Ishgard. Because his whole thing was that he was going to stay away from Ishgard. To draw, to do his best to draw Nidhogg's attention away from Nidhogg, from <laughs> Nidhogg's attention away from Ishgard. I don't understand. But I'm kind of glad he's not just like standing in the turning mist the whole time. <laughs> that would be a little bit. Oh man, I want her hat. Can we make? Can we get hats like this? I know we can get dresses kind of like that. But I don't think that particular dress. Oops. I talked to this dude. Welcome, Mistress and I. I shall show you inside the manor. Bothers me that he says welcome. It's two birds instead of one. Why, hello there, Stinian. You fulfilled your obligations to Lil Dons, then. Mistress Sataru has been keeping me apprised of the situation. Once I learned that these mana cutters of Master Garland were nearly in completion, I saw no reason to tarry in the mist. Hey, who said you were getting one? For the present, Nidhogg seems content to remain in the airy, plotting his revenge. Might not this be an apt moment to unfold our plans to Sir Emmerich? I think we have kept him in the dark long enough. I'm okay with going to see Sir Emmerich. Hmm. 
We are almost done, though. But if I can get to the point where I unlock um, the area, that would be a perfect time to quit. But we got some yammering to do still, so not sure. But we got to be close to it. We've got to be pretty close. Sir Amrak has been eager to speak with you. Pray proceed. Yes, I would like to go to the seat of the Lord Commander. Hello, my good friend Amrak. Mm. It's an interesting butt shot of this, Dinian. All stands ready, Lord Commander. Ah, the moment has come. Pray excuse my lateness. I paid a brief visit to the workshop to inquire about the mana cutters. The engineers assure me that they're ready. The area is now but a short flight away. Yet what a long and winding path we took to reach this point. Were it not for Master Alphino's proposal, we never would have attempted to parlay with the dragons. Though our negotiations yielded little, our expedition with Lady Isa taught us much. You took an unimaginable risk. I could scarce believe the tale Astinian told. Is he scolding me? Aye. Tis true that many of our countrymen would sooner die than join hands with the heretic's mistress. But twas through that most unlikely of alliances that we came to speak with Raceveldor. Conversation that went rather poorly, as I recall. In this instance, the journey was more important than the destination. Had we not slain Nidhogg's consort, Tiamun, and put the Great Worm on his guard, the Dravanians would have arrived at Ishgard's walls long ago. Aye, that they would. Full grateful am I for every hour of respite your actions have afforded us. Thanks to you, our defenses are much improved. Is but a pity they won't be enough. <laughs> That's so sad. Thus, you believe an assault upon the area represents the city's best chance of survival. Is that not so, Estinian? I am under no illusions. Nidhogg's might is legendary. But with his eye in my possession, I can stifle his strength at the source. Victory will be hard won, even so. And I shall be glad indeed to have the Warrior of Light at my side. You shall have my blade as well. There are more of these mana cutters to be had, yes? Yeah, let's just whip them up. Lord Commander, no. How can I, a proud knight of Ishgard, stand by and do naught while an outsider risks life and limb for our homeland? I swore an oath to protect this city. Pretty sure he doesn't come with us. Pray leave the slaying of dragons to dragoons, Sir Knight. Your duty to command the city's defense is no less vital. You tell him, Mistinian. Should we fail and Nidhogg slip through our grasp, who then will hold the walls against him? Will you leave Ishgard in the hands of the Holy Sea's zealots? There are others. Who but you has the authority and the standing to orchestrate a city-wide defense? I do not, and neither does the Warrior of Light. That is why it is our place to fight, and yours to remain here, Lord Commander. It's like the most reasonable things that have ever come out of Estinian's mouth. What? You too, Master Alfino. By the fury. You have shown some promise, but this adversary is far beyond your skills. And back to being a dick. <laughs> Your candor is appreciated, Sir Dragoon. I shall remain then and cheer you from afar. Well, my friend, it would seem I have discouraged the last of the volunteers and claimed the task as ours alone. But if any alive can best this worm, tis surely we too. And a band of my fellow adventurers. Just a small one.
Now what do we do? I have pricked Master Alphanode's pride, I fear. But I, had I been less forceful, the boy would have insisted on accompanying us to the airy. Do not think me blind to his talent. With a few more campaigns under his belt, I have no doubt that Alphanode will make a fine field commander. But one does not practice on an adversary such as Nidhogg. We shall be hard-pressed enough without the ad added worry of carrying a novice. I'm going to carry you, Astinian. Actually, he does help. Into the airy! Astinian is eager to set forth for the airy. We have tarried long enough. Let us call upon Master Garlon to take possession of the mana cutters. Uh, does that mean I'm going back to the Sky Steel Manufactory? Speak with Sid. Where is Sid? I'm guessing he's still at the Sky Steel. Where, how do I get out of this place? Well, let's go back there. I'll take my chances. Won't be that hard to go somewhere else if it's wrong. To the Sky Steel Manufactory. It looks like I am gonna get just unlocked of above the area. I'll get the area unlocked and then we'll call it a night. And tomorrow is Wednesday and I'm unfortunately back to my regular schedule of only starting at 9 because I am doing dinner with my family. Nope, he's not here. Alright, where am I going? Sid, where are you? Oh, you're like right here. Okay, never mind. Close enough. Close enough. Do we fly there? That'd be great. Hey, Lee, old friend. The cutters are ready when, I, when you are. The finer adjustments cost us a flu, few sleepless nights, but we got there in the end. By which means you can get where you need to go. I tell you, those little beauties will tear through that wind barrier like cement drill through cottage cheese. And that, my friends, is a Garland Ironworks guarantee. You have our thanks. Come, warrior of light. The dread worm awaits. Estinian, I have a name, goddammit. Oh my goodness. The area is now accessible. Do they consider this to be the entrance to the area? No. Alright. Well, that's what I said I was going to do. So that is going to be it for me. Although, what did I say I was going to do on Ari? Oh yeah, I gotta go pick up, um, pick up some leave quests quick. But that will be it for me. I'm pro I'm, I won't subject you guys to all of this. Anyways, so I'll be back tomorrow at 9. I will be doing raiding at 9.30. Uh, the plan is to just do resets, and uh, that'll be it. So hopefully we get through all of them, including 4 tomorrow. That would be pretty sweet, although I expect 4 might be a little bit rough because we only cleared for the first time last week. Um, and then there will be no raiding on... Friday <laughs> um, but I will whoops I will be reading on Sunday I have a trial lined up Sunday evening from 8 to 11 um, so I won't be doing my afternoon stream on Sunday I will be doing an evening stream so that's gonna be a little bit of change this week uh, if that group works out that's gonna end up being a permanent change I'm gonna have to uh, switch up my raid schedule a little, or my stream schedule a little bit to accommodate a new raid schedule, most likely regardless of what happens. So for anybody who doesn't know, my raid group is disbanding, doing some scheduling conflicts that are coming up, and so I am currently looking for a new group. But I have one, I have a trial set up for Sunday, and it seems pretty promising. So I'm gonna wait and see how that goes, uh, and then take it from there. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Have a good Wednesday. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.